Hi, this is Melanie from Your Mom Uses WordPress. I'd like to show you today one of the reasons why I love DreamHost so much. I've been using DreamHost to host all of my websites for, well, I, I guess it says here on the screen since August 2004, and I'm pretty darn happy with them. But one of the reasons I love them so much is because they make it so darn simple to uh, install WordPress on your website. So let me walk you through it by setting up a demo site on Your Mom Uses WordPress. First, you log into your DreamHost account. Um, you'll see here I'm on my dashboard, and uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, um, especially compared to some of the other dashboards that are out there. But the thing that we're most concerned with right now is under Goodies, on this left-hand side, you go to One Click Installs. When I click on that, it's going to load. Now with some other hosting companies, you have to uh, go through a bunch of procedures to install WordPress. And it's not too terribly difficult, but if you're just getting started, it can be a hassle. With DreamHost and with a few other hosts, they offer one-click installs that make it really super simple. So now we're in the one-click installs section. You'll see there are a couple different options. Don't select easy mode. Just so you know, it says right here, in easy mode you cannot access the files for the installation. And this is important because when you're playing with your WordPress site, sometimes you want to add new themes, add new plugins, change things around, and you'll want your, to be able to grow your website. You can't do that in easy mode. But I'll show you, it's really not difficult at all to set it up in advanced mode. It's really one page. So we're going to go down here to Install New Website Software Advanced Mode and click on that. It loads up a bunch of options, lots of different software we can install. Right now we're concerned with WordPress, which is, it should be the default one that's checked here, but if not, you just click the button next to it. Come down here, you say where you want to install to. I'm saying your mom uses WordPress.com, and I want to put this in demo. A lot of times I'll install it in the root of the domain, which basically means it's not in a folder inside of the domain. But in this case, because I already have my website there, I want to do a demo website in a demo folder. Now I've already set up this folder, uh, and if you need to set up a subdomain or a uh, folder within your domain, we'll cover that in another tutorial. But for now, you can just select your domain name here if it's hosted on DreamHost put a subdomain. Now it says here create a database for me automatically. Let it do that. It, if, you, if you're a WordPress ninja or if you're you know, big into doing your own stuff, you can definitely change this and if you want to create it manually you can go ahead and do all that. But you don't have to worry about that. Their auto install works just fine. So leave this box checked and then click install it for me now and it's going to take a few seconds to do that and there it says WordPress will be installed to your domain within 10 minutes and then they'll send an email so once you get your email from DreamHost you're going to click on the link to create an admin user and what that'll bring you to is a page that looks a lot like this uh, it, it may change a little bit when WordPress upgrades to 3.0. I think they're going to let you select a username while you're installing it. But for now, you get to a page like this, and it's for installation. Your blog title, so I'm going to say your mom uses WordPress. I'm going to call this the demo site. Put your email in. allow my blog to appear in search engines. You can turn this off for now if you're working on your site and you don't want it to get indexed by Google, but if that doesn't matter to you, if you've, you've got everything up, ready to upload and you're ready to go, you can allow it. Click Install WordPress. Success! It's been installed. Now copy the password. You're going to need it. Click Login. put in the information you just got on the last page so this is admin and whatever your password is and if you're in WordPress 3.0 I think you're going to be uh, giving yourself a username so you choose something other than admin click the password log in
and it takes you to your dashboard. Uh, you'll see here it says you're using the auto-generated password for your account. Would you like to change it to something you'll remember easier? Yes, you do want to do this. Um, and again, this might be changing in 3.0, but for now, just be sure to change your password right away and make a note of it because you'll need it every time you need to log into your site. It's that easy to install WordPress using DreamHost. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, you can leave them here at the post at yourmomusesWordPress.com. Thanks a lot.